Hope you start to enjoy your new iPhone with the latest iOS update. Here are a couple of settings that you can tweak to get the maximum experience out of your iPhone. Let's see those. With the recent updates, Apple bring back that battery percentage display right into the status bar. It was not available for iPhone 11 and mini versions before, but with the latest updates, Apple make it available almost all phones that can update to iOS 16. If you haven't that enabled yet, go to iPhone settings and battery. And here, make sure you turn this on battery percentage. And when we are talking about this battery settings, there is one more settings that you don't wanna miss it. That's going to be optimized the battery charging. Please make sure to turn this on to reduce battery aging. And there is a new settings here, especially for iOS 16, clean energy charging. Turn this on and iPhone setting that it can charge your phone while low carbon electricity is available. The weather notification comes handy if you are living in a place where you can get a snow or rain. I'm in Florida and I'm getting a lot of rain so I would always prefer to turn this weather notifications in my area. To turn that on, tap on this three dot menu on the top and notifications where you can see severe weather and next hour precipitation. So if you want to get this severe weather notification, you have to turn this on and you can get a notification on the home screen if there is a severe weather change. And recent releases, Apple introduced this haptic keyboard. To enable that one, go to sounds and haptics, keyboard feedback and haptic. And you will get nice haptic feedback when you type something on your keyboard. This so was a long waiting feature for iOS users, the always on display. To turn that on, go to settings, display and brightness and scroll down for and turn on this always on display. This will display the low screen widgets even when the phone is locked. And it's gonna save some battery if that turned off, but it's up to you. If you don't want to clutter your home screen with the notifications, there are a couple of options there. Either you can show your notifications like this, or you can group together these notifications at the bottom, or instead of this, you can just display the number of notifications on the bottom. To get that, go to iPhone settings, notifications, and there are three options right over there. You can get a count, stack, or list. If you prefer this count, there will be no clutter on your home screen and you can see all the notifications in number right here. If you tap on, you can see that and you can bring back by swiping down. iPhone itself gives a lock for your phone. In addition to that, there are two things that you can protect with the lock. The first one on your photos, if you scroll down, there is an option for hidden photos and you need your face ID to see these hidden photos. To lock the hidden photos, your face ID, you have to go to photo settings and here you have to make sure to turn on this use face ID to view the hidden and recently deleted photos. And the second option for the notes, there is an option to lock your notes. If you want to get this lock, go to settings, scroll down for notes and here you see password and you can use this device password to lock your notes. And alternatively, you can use the face ID to open your locked notes. If you are new to this iOS 16 or iPhone 14, don't forget to add this lock screen widgets and you can customize all this. Tap and hold on the home screen, tap on customize here where you can pick lock screen and here you go. You can select multiple options for the top widgets and the time there are a couple of options to change the color, font, etc. And you can have four widgets space here where you can add couple of widgets. Here I added one for the weather and the second and third one for my iPhone and watch battery. And the fourth one I use most of the time for my garage door that I can open automatically through my phone. I will provide the link above for the home kit based garage door opener. On iMessage, you can undo any message that you sent within two minutes. And similarly, I can edit any message up to five times within a 15 minutes window that I send and I can send it back. And similarly, if you are using a mail app on your iPhone, there is an option undo send delay and you can pick up to 30 seconds. Personally, I like to have 30 seconds delay to send the message before I change my mind, but you have a couple of other options here. 
Apple is trying to improve the accuracy of the Face ID and there are a couple of additional options in Rudisir over there. You can add an alternative appearance with your Face ID by set up an alternate appearance and you have to scan your face again. And in addition to that, there is an additional option for Face ID with the mask and also there is an option for add glasses. And if you want to set up your face with the glass, you can do with this add glass option here. And this come to handy while you drive or when you read if you are using some glasses, you can set up your face ID with the glasses. Focus mode. This is the most underrated feature on iOS 16 and I'm using regularly for my work or even when I record the videos from my phone. You can customize this focus or add new focus to determine what are the apps are allowed in different focus mode. Go to settings and tap on this focus. You have all the focus listed here and you can create more focus. For example, if I open my sleep focus here, I can see all devices screen and I can individually select the devices screen in this sleep mode. Here in Apple Watch, I selected with less details on the screen. And similarly, for the iPhone screen, there are options to select the lock screen and also the home screen for each focus modes. And similarly, you can pick what are the people you are allowed to send you messages and also pick what are the apps you allow for notifications. For example, on my studio mode, I pick a couple of people to send notifications and for the apps, I selected only certain app that can send me the notifications. And in addition to that, I can pick this time sensitive notifications if it is important. And in addition to that, while I'm driving, I selected different driving focus for that and here it can automatically activate when you connect to your car bluetooth or it can activate when you connect your phone with the carplay and you can auto replay the messages only to your favorite while you are driving and once you select any focus mode here it will automatically reflect all of your devices that connected to the same iCloud service so just as example if I enable this one it will automatically enable the same focus on my iPad watch and all other devices that connected with the same Apple ID the voice typing was improving in every iOS updates and recently they added a couple of additional options for the punctuation and even you can get the next paragraph by just saying you can say whatever you want and it's gonna automatically type over there and you can do the same thing on your apple note only thing you have to wait a few seconds to get a punctuation mark there you can wait you can pause and the iphone can automatically put the comma or the punctuation wherever it required. Next paragraph. To enable this feature, go to settings and go to the general keyboard and make sure you turn on this auto punctuation. If you are new to this 5G, you know, of course the 5G is so quick or you can download the apps or watch a movie in pretty fast. But sometimes it's going to take a lot of battery power from your phone. So if you are not concerned about that 5G, you can turn that off, switch to LTE right on this voice and data settings. And obviously iPhone can prefer the 5G if your Wi-Fi is slower than 5G. So if you don't want to worry about that, you can go for the standard or low data mode. This is gonna save some battery power. And also if you are concerned about the data usage, you can limit that. Apple will usually push the notification about any new update. There is an option available on new iOS system for automatic updates where you can enable the security responses and system files. And if you turn this on, the Apple rapid security response system files will automatically push into your devices and accessories. And sometimes you may need to restart your system, but this comes in a handy feature and you don't need to check all the time. Apple will do that automatically for you. And similarly, you can enable or disable this download iOS updates if you want to get this one automatically enabled on your phone. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like all the tips that we shared here. And I know there are a couple of other tips that's going to be useful for you. If you are looking for any additional tips for iOS 16 OS, you can check our link here and if you have more tips you want to share please comment below and meanwhile if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel we'll see you in another video